Hello everybody, welcome. Today, we're going to see how to add Google Captcha version 3 to our ASP.NET Core web application. Here, I have a sample login page with two fields, username and password. The markup, I have a login view model that binds into the email and password fields. In the backend, I have two simple methods for one for get, one for post. So the first step to install support for Google Captcha is to install a couple of NuGet packages. The first one is ASP.NET Core.recaptcha. Let's go ahead and install that. Once we install our packages, we then have to add the keys from our Google Capture V3. Please go ahead and sign up for a Google Capture V3 account. And then, once you're ready, now we go to our ASP.NET app settings. Since we are running development version, we go to our ASP.NET development.json file and we paste the key and password. This password and key will be unique for every user. After adding the keys to our app settings.development.json file, we need to configure our web application to read the keys from the JSON file. For that, we go to our program.cs. And before we build the application, we say builder.services.addRecapture, builder.configuration.getSection, oh, section, and we enter the JSON block where our keys are located. Okay, awesome. Now, let's go to our login page. Here, we need to add the tags so that our tokens will be automatically added and injected every time uh, the form is submitted. For that, we say using ASP.NET Core recapture, and then here we inject our recapture token. In the backend, every time a request is made, the token should be validated. For that, we need to add a decorative attribute Say validate recapture. This will automatically validate the token every time a request is made. Now let's run the application and see how it goes. I have added a small breakpoint here so that we can look at the test values. Now let's reload the page. Let's add an email, password, sign in. If you see here, we get the values and CAPTCHA is validated. Awesome! Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.